Hi everyone, I thought I'd make something with paper mache. So this is um, an Easter bunny with just using a balloon and not many resources. And um, it took quite a long time, longer than I thought. So if you need any help, just give me a message. Okay. So this is the sketch of the rabbit I've done. You to get a Pringle pot and then cut off the top so it's about a finger width depth so you've got this ring okay because then when you get your balloon it's going to sit on it like that so that it doesn't fall over when we're doing the paper mache okay so once you've got that ring cut off you need to find roughly the bottom area so you've got your bit of pringle pot there got your balloon hold it by the knot and then position it on top of the ring right, and then just reposition it so that you uh, look around it and it's standing up straight okay because then you can grab that and that and then tape the base onto the balloon. So I next want you to get some foil about that size and scrunch it up rough shaped bunny ears. Um, so then when you've got your bunny ears I want you to put two pieces of masking tape on the front and the back with a little gap in the middle for the balloon knot to sit inside. So then get a few bits of masking tape and stick it on the balloon. Okay. So then it looks, starts to look like this. So what I did next was to then put some blue, four blobs of blue tack on the bottom of your Pringle pot and then push that onto an old plate. Because obviously if you've got an old plate, it's, it's quite heavy. And then when you're moving it about, it's, it's not gonna fall over. And then you, you know, when you finish doing your work, you can move it out of the way. So there's my bunny ears on a balloon like that and then next I'm going to do the paper mache. So I've used PVA glue watered down in a big bowl um, but you could use flour and water which is um, you know like one cup of flour, one cup of warm water and mix it all up and then it ends up <coughs> like a paste. Oh, I'm going to use um, kitchen roll. Um, so I've I've cut them into strips. So just dip it in and run it through your fingers to get all the most of the glue off, and lay it on. And just smooth it down. So I've done that first one over the ears um, just to give it some security. And what I've discovered is that obviously you get a big pool of glue on your plate so every now and then just tip that back in your bowl. So I put my um, rabbit in the airing cupboard overnight so that it would dry out nicely. Kind of stuck to my plastic plate which isn't a bad thing because it will come off if you break it off but I'm going to leave it stuck on so I can do the third layer because you can still see part of the balloon so although it's quite firm you need another layer um, and then I shall after I've done another layer I'll then stick on the feet and the egg and the hands uh, for the nose 
I've folded a piece of foil into a triangle. So I kept folding it over and over until you get the triangle. If it's not the shape you want, then just cut it into the triangle shape you want. So these are roughly feet shape, like that. And then I've, I've torn two strips of tinfoil that I'm going to wrap around each foot just to make it a bit bigger. And also you see there's all these indents here. Um, and then instead of filling them up with paper mache, if we cover it in foil, that will help to build up that stage. And then I've made um, an egg shape, but obviously it's hollow. So that's going to kind of go there. And then I've done one paw, which is slightly hollow, um, and flat on one edge, which is the top of his arm. And then the bottom of his paw sticks out. And same for this this one that's going to sit on there, which is not working. Okay, so there's his ears, paws, and his Easter egg, and I'm just going to make the feet that's going to wrap around our Pringles pot base so that he stands up properly. So I've wrapped the four around each foot. And then with a spoon, you can just um, sort of pat and sculpt the tin foil into the shape you want. So they look a bit like jacket potatoes at the moment. That's the sort of size you're going for. And why I've joined them up is just because they're a little bit, they'd be a bit stronger if they're joined together and easier to put on your rabbit base. I don't know if you can see, I've done this arc shape, which is going to fit around the foot of the rabbit, the Pringle pot that we made. So you just kind of push it into place, make sure it's lined up in the middle of your ears and your nose. So put your rabbit in the airing cupboard and if he's not if he's not standing up quite straight just prop him up with some towels ready for tomorrow. So I decided to add a tail and I've done it right at the bottom so that when we take 
the rabbit off the plate, it will stand up. So then I did a bit of filling um, to make it a bit smoother around the feet and the ears. He's going to need a little bit of a sandpaper because there's a few lumpy bits. Um, so then I've managed to get him off the plate and you'll have to prise his feet um, after all this is dry. So it's now like this. So you can obviously make that a bit, look a bit tidier with some more paper mache.